and this is the bad boy that I've got on there now. So just over here, nice little location. Um, I've received a message from Will, so <laughs> obviously something's happening here. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm at my storage container in Hartford and I've actually got a Meshtastic node here, surprise, surprise, um, basically to try and enhance the coverage area of the on the ground coverage um, in Hartford Town. So I'll show you what I've got here and I've actually made a change to the antenna so I want to show you that as well and then we're going to go out and test and see what you know what whether this is any better than the antenna that was on before. So that black antenna is the one that it was running on before and this is the bad boy that I've got on there now. So this is the 9 dBi gain McGill microwave antenna, it's an omnidirectional one. And I've kind of got it mounted the best I can at the moment. I might actually put a pole up on here so it goes a bit higher. But yeah, hopefully this will make a bit of difference to the on the ground coverage in the town. That's the node there, nothing fancy, just a V3 Heltec running on USB power. It's actually got a backup battery as well in there. And that is being powered by this All Powers power bank, which is just running on the USB port there. You can see it's 100% charged because it's being topped up by solar at the same time as well. The solar panel up there is like a massive 300 watt panel, so it's more than enough for, for this node. You see, what I'm most interested in doing is trying to create coverage in my town on devices like this that don't have an external antenna. So I wanna make sure, I wanna try and get good coverage to these sort of devices because then anything that comes into the area is gonna, um, you know, with a better antenna is gonna pick up the signal from this node, no problem at all. But I do like having kind of really low profile nodes without antennas or internal antennas because then you can you can just slip them in your pocket and it's a bit like using a regular cell phone that doesn't have like you know big antennas sort of sticking out the side so i've just done a quick ping using the signal scanner on the t-deck plus here running the GUI firmware and you can see it comes back with a whopping minus 35 rssi and 7.2 signal to noise so very strong signal obviously because we're right standing right by the antenna so i've just logged into the actual node here in this container um, and i want to show you the um, signal so it's called Hartford Town and you can see here it's got good signal to the rest of the mesh, absolutely no problem at all. Um, if I search out my home station, which is probably the one that's going to be, it's going to be mainly linking through, um, we'll do a quick trace route to Hartford Omni and it should come back very quick um, with you know, a response there. So that was direct. And you can see here, the RSSI is very, very strong indeed. It's minus 90 um, and 5.3, which, so this station, Hartford Omni, isn't actually an Omni at all, it's a Yagi, but it's pointing over this way um, to cover Hartford and also go beyond. But from here is a really good path. It's 1.2 kilometers away. And it means that down here in the center of the town, we should get good mesh coverage to the to the wider mesh. So let's head out with this T-Deck Plus and see what we can get in the town. So we're just on a street across the road, not too far away from the node itself, but we obviously are around all the houses and stuff like that. So you can see here, RSSI, minus 90, still pretty good. Signal to noise ratio is, is really high. So it's gonna be no problem getting messages here. It's come down a bit there as well. So we can move on and go into the center of the town and see what, um, what it's like there. So I'm just over by the new Hartford Theatre now, which has just opened up. Let's see what the signal is like here. So we're getting minus 115 here, minus 12. So obviously you'd expect that a little bit because we're probably, this is probably blocking our, our line of sight actually, this big building. Um, so I would expect this is probably, it's probably gonna work um, message wise. Let's just have a look on here. I've got, actually got a filter set on this so that um, it only shows the Hartford station, so I can just clear that and just see see what's actually coming through. So you can see Palmer Road's coming through now and all the other stations, so I think we're okay. Probably send out a little message, just say, test from town one. See if it goes green on here. See if we get something acknowledged. Incidentally, the T-Deck antenna um, placement on the plus is underneath here. So if you want to hold it like that, it might actually be better, but we've got green showing on here as well. So that's, so the message has been accepted. So really in amongst the town now, just want to see what it's like here. Um, I definitely wasn't getting a signal here before on the other antenna. Um, so we'll see if we are getting something back here. Obviously if the mesh is busy, you might, it might take a minute for this to actually come through. It might not be quick definitely struggling here a bit so we're getting minus 121 here minus 18.8 8. well I definitely wasn't getting a signal here before so yeah for certain this is 
this is an improvement. Right, just gonna try the other end of the town now. So that is coming back with 118, so it's a bit better even though we are slightly further away. Um, this is looking good guys, it's literally covering most of the town now. Remember as well, this is on this internal antenna, so if you're using something with an external antenna, that is gonna be a lot better. But for devices like sense caps, like T1000Es and stuff like that, if you wanna have them in your pocket, then obviously this is gonna work quite well. The antennas on those are actually working very well, I'm quite impressed with those. Right, I'm at Hartford East Station now, so many meshers might come this way and <laughs> come out of here and turn their nodes on and see what they can get in the town. So we'll do a quick test here as well. So struggling with signal here for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's just too much, um, too many obstacles in the way. So I might need that pole to like push that antenna up a bit more, or maybe, you know, use something with even more gain, I don't know. But I'm gonna carry on over to Harton, which is like a park area, and uh, we'll see what it's like there. So just over here, nice little location. Um, I've received a message from Will, so <laughs> obviously something's happening here. Um, I will just go back to him actually and just see what testing MQTT as my internet went down. Uh, so I'm just going to say it's working, it's working mate, and we'll see if that goes. That went green. I'll actually, I can cross reference this on the uh, yeah. on one of the dashboards and I'll show you that. So if we look at this dashboard here, we'll see Will, um, and you can see my message has actually made it. Um, over to him and he's all the way over in Harpenden and that's um, from Hartford so there's no possible way you'd have a direct link that way it's gone across the mesh. So so this is what I wanted to achieve <laughs> um, I'm actually having a conversation with everyone on the mesh um, from the town on the T deck with just a minor antenna absolutely brilliant so just over by Sainsbury's and another message has come through there so that's good so there's a bit of discussion going on about raspberry pies <laughs> and everything else um so i'm just going to just check and just see what the um what the rssi is i think it might be that that one there is it that no, minus 110 but i mean that's good it's possible that might be actually rooting via my my home node i don't know because that is sort of pointing this way but that's very snappy coming back good location over here good line of sight to what to somewhere <laughs> right the other sort of end of the town now i think this might be going via another station but it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter i mean let's just have a look at the list here and see no it does say it does actually have a report with no hops so yeah guys this is good really really good well, those tests definitely spoke for themselves, didn't they? I mean, I've heard McGill antennas are supposed to have been good. Lots of people have ordered them recently and sort of reporting that they're having, having good results with them. Um, they do a range of different antennas. They do some panel ones. They do lots of different size omni-directional ones. Um, this one is the biggest gain for an omni um, and it is a beast it's not going to be for everyone because <laughs> obviously it's quite large it might not fit in your loft um, but there's different options you can go for um, for that but I am really impressed with how this has increased the on the ground coverage um, in Hartford town it's a very flat area but there's lots of obstacles so a little bit of gain is definitely going to help just keep that lower um, angle of radiation down so that it can you know get because it helped penetrate buildings and other objects. I'm still shocked at how these frequencies kind of and, and lower works uh, so well, even when it's not like completely direct line of sight. It is very interesting that you get a lot of like kind of signals bouncing off of things as well. That can help, but lower is very, very good at handling um, very, very poor RF conditions. So I'm happy now that I can wander around the town with the T Deck Plus or any T Deck or, or Sense Cap, like I was saying about the T1000E. Um, I can have one of those in my pocket, very low profile node. Um, and I'll be able to receive messages um, from the mesh whilst I'm out and about. And it has proved to be the case. I've been in pubs and uh, you know restaurants and stuff in the town and I've been getting messages absolutely fine. To send messages might be more tricky. You might actually need to you know remove the device from your pocket or go outside. Um, but this is, I mean, this is like, cell phone coverage in a town it's amazing you can do this with like one antenna i think what i'm going to do next because i have got one of the directional panels uh, on order um it's actually what i ordered first but they got the order wrong but anyway that's a that's a story for <laughs> for another day um and i want to try that one as well the difficulty with directional of course is that you can't you can only point it in one way and depending on how wide the beam is i might not get as good a signal from 
uh, you know, this station in for, outside that I've got. So the Hartford Omni one that I showed you. But yeah, let's see. I do want to try something directional because there's nothing really behind my container. There's no point in having the signal going out there. Really, the, the sort of, I want to focus all the energy into the town. Um, so I think uh, the other thing I'm going to do is maybe raise the antenna up even more. Um, I could probably put maybe like another two meter pole on there and then have that a little bit higher. And I think that is going to help um, for sure. But yeah, interesting tests. I um, hope you've enjoyed them guys. And um, yeah, McGill antennas, I'll leave the link down below. Um, this is not sponsored by them or anything like that. They gave me 25% dis discount off of the, the wrong one that I ordered. But <laughs> anyway, but anyway, that's it for this one. And I'll catch you next time.